Hey guys! Today I'm going to give you a grow tent tour. I know, <laughs> I know this has been requested for quite some time, but I've been putting it off. And honestly, I've been putting it off because I've wanted to wait until it's like in the perfect condition after one of the semi-annual deep cleans where I pull everything out of the tent, wipe it all down, um, really like trim up the plants so that they're looking spick and span. And I was like, you know what? That's stupid because this, how it is right now, is how it does usually stay for six months of the year in between those clean outs so it's just the reality of it and i'm trying to be honest with you so <laughs> and i will say like of course some people are able to keep their tents more spick and span than i am i just personally don't have the time or the like brain power to keep up with it all the time. I'm pretty like all over the place throughout the day. So like I'll do something in the tent and then I'll run upstairs and do something upstairs and completely forget about the mess I had in the tent. That's just the way it is, but I'm going to show you the setup, what we have going on right now. And yes, a few things before we get into it. Number one, I have been camping a lot this summer, so a lot of my plants have been super neglected, particularly my bins. So I will be showing you a brief view of a lot of the bins. So you will see some very sad plants. That's because I have been going out of town pretty much every weekend to take my kids camping with my sister. So, oh, I'm really embarrassed to show you, but like, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, whatever. If you judge me, you judge me. I don't care. Okay, I care a little bit. And then the second thing, please thumbs up or thumbs down this video, letting me know what you think of this type of content so I know what to make going forward, what type of videos you'd like to see going forward. Um, also, please leave a comment with whatever fleeting thought, kind of fleeting thought. I mean, you can say like not nice thoughts, but just word them like not terribly. Otherwise, I will block you. <laughs> and please watch this video all the way through and then maybe watch one or two more videos after this. The watch time is super, super important and helpful for the growth of my channel. So I really appreciate all of that. With all of that being said, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start showing you the grow tent. <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay, let's just do it. All right, so you can't really super see it, but I do have the 10 by 10 Vivo Sun Grow Tent. I will have it linked down in the description box. I'll actually have links for everything I show you in this video, the lights, the totes. So if you're curious about my setup, <laughs> go there if you wanna get one for yourself. Okay, so when you open the door, this is the view, and then you can walk in. Okay, and we are walking in. We will start in the back, and I'll just kind of show you what I have going on plant wise. So really over here, I keep mostly Hoyas. You can see I have like a variegated ZZ right there, just a red, a little variegated ZZ. Everything else on this shelf is a Hoya. Same for this shelf. I do have a random Sansevieria and this beautiful fern, which decided to just pop up out of nowhere. And look at that. Oh, that one doesn't have it. Oh, right here, this one. Look at that. Look at that pollen. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Um, yeah, that just randomly decided to pop up in one of my Hoya plants, which is really cool. But yeah, everything else on here um, is a Hoya. And then same for down here, all Hoyas, except for this little pot, which used to be a Hoya elliptica. I accidentally killed it and this cute little clover decided to pop up. So I am keeping it. I think it looks really, really cute. Is that dumb? I don't know. I think it looks so cute. That like might be my favorite plant on this entire row. What do you think? Yes or no? I vote yes. Okay. And then, oh my goodness, on the ground here is a little syngonium that appears to have fallen out of its pot. Probably because my big head or my big body blocked it. Knocked it off, I meant. Oh, much better. Okay, and then on this bottom shelf, we have um, a bunch of different Hoya propagations. Um, variegated string of hearts here. We have ellip Hoya elliptica, um, acuta, panchoy, memoria, like a little bit of everything going on here. And all of the propagations and the little cups you see on these trays, I will move into bins at some point, but the mother plants just needed cut up like immediately because they were getting a little bit crazy, but I didn't want to move them into the bins because I am at the point where I'm taking 
things out of the bins so that I can deep clean the bins <laughs> and then move everything back. So it just kind of didn't make sense to put these into the bins when I would just be moving them out to clean the bins. It just was like an extra step. So they are just living right here on these boot trays and cafeteria trays for easy bottom watering underneath some grow lights until I'm able to put them back into the bins. So that's what's going on there. Um, here, okay, on the ground here, we have some baby spinach containers. So in this one, we have sphagnum moss, which I am doing a video about how to bring sphagnum moss back to life. So yes, we do have some living sphagnum moss going on in here. It is a long, long process. So I mean, hopefully that video will go up soon, but it probably will be a while. And then in this one, we have, I believe these are Cebu Blue. Yes, these are little baby Cebu Blue cuttings and their best life in there. And then across the way on this shelf, we again have more Hoya propagations. I took, we have Hoya polyneura, um, a bunch of, oh my gosh, what is this called? I cannot think of it. I'll put it on screen, but I, for some reason I cannot muster up the name right now, a whole bunch of those, but it is a Hoya. And then we have Hoya Coronia, Croniana Black over here. More up here on the shelf, except up here we have some like other plant types. So we have some Monstera Obliquas, um, lipstick plants. These are the Thai pink variety. And then yeah, everything else pretty much are Hoya. <laughs> Same situation, okay. And then now up here on this shelf, we have more plants, which, okay, you guys, you guys, how cool is that? Decursive a leaf. Um, I guess I'll show you <laughs> this first. It's kind of a weird, sad story, but then happy story. So this plant used to have so many leaves. You can see for some reason it just dropped them all and then it shot out this weird thing, which has a 90 degree angle almost. It's attached itself to the grow tent wall and then it produced this leaf. Why did it do that? I have no idea, <laughs> but I do think it's kind of funny and kind of cool. And honestly, that leaf makes me very, very happy. So maybe at some point I will go ahead and chop up um, this runner and maybe get some more decursive plants. But for now, I am just going to enjoy it as it is. Uh, yeah, but then we just have some other little plants. This Alocasia Frydeck, which has three leaves, which is the most leaves my Frydeck has ever had at one time. But oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. I don't know what this is, but I love it. I think it's so, so cute. It's like this little moss stuff. And then it shot out these things, which if you know what th that is, <laughs> let me know. I have no idea where they came from, but I kind of love it. So I'm going to let them stay. Some Syngonium, my Jose Buono I've shown in like a recent video. And then just a bunch of like random, this is that plant I just repotted back into there. A bunch of random stuff. So just got some plants sitting up there. This is a Mauna Loa compacta. And then here we have some plants that I was taking out of bin and then there wasn't room in another bin. So I'm just leaving them there for now. We got a pot of sphagnum moss with perlite, some Hoya plants, my mother Hoya plants, more bins. And now we're over here where we've got lots of propagations happening. So up here, these propagations are all of my Monstera Albo on these two trays here. Over here, we have like Jose Buono, some mint, uh, Monstera ansonii, so beautiful propagations. Another little baby one right there. This guy needs some water. I better get him some water. It's looking a little bit thirsty. But yeah, just kind of a little bit of everything. Okay. And down here we have Philodendron sodoroi propagations, some Libicia species real, Syngonia erythrophyllum. These are all pink princess Philodendron, which the first leaves on a few of these look really awesome. So there's one of them with a little pink spot. This one has some pink on it, a little pink, um, and then the top cut. Oh, I keep repeating myself. I, I, this is just very redundant because a lot of what is in here is the same, but these will all go in bins once the bins are cleaned and then just more like props and stuff. These are my Zingonium varieties that I've moved out of my terrarium and into here and they really, really like it. They're doing very well. So I'm pleased, super pleased. Um, and then these bottom shelves, I need to get out of the way so you can see, we have my smaller propagation bins where I keep my smaller <laughs> propagations. <laughs> in here we have Philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy, same as in the one next door. Um, yeah, just like a bunch of these smaller bins. Look at this fern. I cannot grow fern to save my life, but they'll just randomly pop up <laughs> in some of my bins. This one I just leave open, but it has Libicia in it. 
Look at how pretty. I need to get these moved out of here and into actual cups. These are all philodendron mame, mame, mommy. <laughs> yeah, just kind of the same, same, same all around. Same, same, but different. Okay, I'm gonna show you this tray because this is actually one of my favorite trays. So we have this Hoya sigillatus, which is just going crazy. It's clear back there. Oh, no, it has some dead leaves. I hope it's doing okay. Uh, but yeah, it is just going crazy. It needs water. I'm gonna go get water. All right, we got some water. Oh. Anyway, some of my favorite plants are on here. So we have Spathophyllum Picasso. Um, this is a melanochrysum, which I want to cut up. I was gonna sell this plant, which is why there's a number, and then I ended up liking it. So I don't know, maybe I'll just keep this one for myself. Look at how cute that is. Uh, we have some pink princess philodendrons. This beautiful one here with the really deep, dark leaves. Um, philodendron adaba puensi, some syngonium, a philodendron, what are you, plowmanii, yeah. Uh, we have a sad peperomia here, which was doing really, really well for a while. And now, I don't know where it's so sad. It dropped all of its leaves and I do not know what happened, but pretty much everything else up here are syngoniums. And yeah, we have a bunch of syngonium propagations here, which are doing very, very well. Yep. And turning you around here, we have my bins. So this is my syngonium bin. I know I've shown this in a kind of recent video where I have a little bit of everything going on in here. So we have green splash, um, some strawberry ice. Both of those are strawberry ice. We have another strawberry ice right there. We have mottled ribbon. I don't know, just kind of a little bit of everything. I know there's styromarchii in there, albo, T25, all of that good stuff. And then, yeah, okay. So I just stack my bins like this and they do fine. They get light kind of from all over from above and then both sides and they grow well. And then every time I open it up to water them, I just rotate it. So it's getting light from a different direction. So this is my splendid and gigas box. Here is a, another propagation box with all sorts of goodies in there. Yeah, most of the plants are doing really well. I mean, clearly some, some, some plants will get yellow leaves. Like that's just the name of the game, but where they're kind of sad is actually here. <laughs> These are my spathlophyllums, which I did let them dry out a little bit too much. I'll be totally honest with you. Ooh, so that's why they're looking like that. They should not look like that. Hopefully they start popping. Oh yeah, look, the middle leaves are looking, well, maybe you can't see, but the middle leaves are looking like they're coming in green. So I think they're okay. They just went through a little bit of shock. Honestly, everything else is looking really, really good. This is just a bin of uh, cuttings I've taken. So what I'll do is I just, usually I have water in it already, but I was, I don't know, I didn't fill it up before I started chopping plants and I'll go ahead and chop them up, kind of just throw them all in here, add water or there's already water and I'll let them soak that up and then I'll go ahead and put them into the sphagnum moss cups like you saw over there, all over actually, kind of everywhere. Uh, and then they'll go into the bins. So that's that. Really, there's some more props and some more props. So I, I don't know what more to say. That's just what I have going on. And it is a little bit tight in here. I do actually think I wanna move. <sighs> I do think I wanna move one of these against like the wall over here where these are, move these out of the way, put one of those against the wall here. So I have like double shelves going this way and then I only have one in the middle because walking through here is just kind of tight and I'm always dropping plants, knocking things over. It's kind of a pain, but yeah, <laughs> that's my grow tent. What do you think? <laughs> Don't answer that, just kidding. I do wanna know what you think. Do you have any like, anything that would help me make this more well organized or I don't know, what do you do in your, any of you with grow tents, like what do you do in your grow tents to keep them organized and make sure everything is just like, Bacon span. I like it in here. I feel good in here and that's what matters to me. Like, of course there's those spathlophyllum which you're sitting on that bin that I showed you with the yellow spathlophyllums, the yellow peace lilies in it. But other than that, like the plants are really doing pretty well. So, I mean, that bin makes me sad and every once in a while I get a bin where everything just like dies all at once and that really, really sucks. But overall things are doing, things do really great in here. I'm happy with it and that's truly, truly what it looks like. I mean, yeah, like there's crap all over the floor. 
There is crap all over the floor. Oh, that is my sport variegated Monstera. Oh, oh, gulp. It's still pretty, right? Just has these leaves, which are not, but this one is. This is what I'm talking about. It needs the deep clean because there's just like pieces of sphagnum moss, dead leaves all over the ground. Like nothing super disgusting, but oops. It definitely, I don't know, it definitely needs to be cleaned. It's time and these are getting so dusty. So I wanna move everything out, clean it up. I do it usually twice a year. Well, I've been doing it twice a year and I think that seems to be what it takes. Oh my gosh, and I gotta say, okay, so up here is where my messiest Hoyas live. Oh, they're so frustrating because they're just constantly blooming. I did, I mean, you can see like there's a, a huge peduncle <laughs> there's a peduncle oh will it focus there's a peduncle like really they're everywhere here's one growing will it focus i don't think so i don't know but they just grow everywhere and i mean you can see all of the hoya blooms that have fallen off in here that's what all of these little things are dried up things are um, and they get everywhere they drip sap everywhere like there's some of the sap it gets sticky and messy and yeah these are the worst like i have a love hate with them i think they're so pretty and i don't know like it's exciting that they bloom so much but at the same time it's just such a mess and a part of me really hates it. So <laughs> ah! that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hmm.